This is going to be a short tutorial for a friend of mine who is was asking me about how to put a little, you know, roof or concrete roof on a like an underground shelter. So I'm going to start off by assuming that you already have your walls, your floor, and I'm showing here just like a turned down slab, a concrete slab, just turned down around the edges uh, for to have a give it a footing. And I'm going to assume that this is either a concrete block wall or a poured concrete wall, which would be better. But uh, you know, I can understand why people want to do the less, the least expensive thing here, and that would be a concrete block wall. I would suggest if you're going to use a concrete block wall here, that you pour the cells of the concrete block with concrete and put some rebar in there, because you are going to have you know dirt backfilled against it. So let's just start out with some of the components here. Let's see, let me turn my layers on. And the first thing we'd want to do is install the concrete deck, which is just a, a metal pan, basically, that you can buy at your local concrete supplier, you know, rebar type supplier uh, place. And it's just a metal pan, and it, it's corrugated in this fashion here. So it actually perform, uh, creates, I'm sorry, creates a structural deck uh, after the concrete is poured. I'll just try to give you a little uh, view there. And by the way, I'm using SketchUp Pro 8 here for this tutorial. So after you've got your concrete pan installed, and what you do is you keep it back from the edges. Uh, let's say this wall is 8 inches. You'll want to bear this on the concrete wall you know, four inches to give yourself a little space there to turn the edges down. The next thing you want to do is probably, depending on how much dirt you're going to be having on top of this thing, I'd, I'd recommend putting a grid of rebar in, uh, in the concrete. And this is, I'm showing here a half inch rebar, um, 12 inches on center. And again, you'd hold that back from the edges. And you, you won't cover you want to cover your rebar at least three inches all uh, all around. You don't want your rebar to be close to the edges of your concrete because it'll rust out and start to form cracks and, and then the, the rebar will start to deteriorate itself. So the next, next thing you want to do is you'll put your wood form up, which is like a two by 10 around the edges. And again, depending on, you know, I'd make this at least six inches thick probably three inches off the top of your rebar just to make sure you get a good strong you know and if you know any uh, you could you might want to call I don't know your local college that has an engineering department maybe and ask them just to make sure you know you don't want to put 12 feet of dirt on top of this thing and then have it cave in on you so I'd, I'd recommend at least six inches six to eight inches of concrete here and then next, that, that's all you're going to do next is just pour your concrete and uh, let it go over to your form. And then basically you have your structure. And I'd say you could probably put at least two or three feet of dirt on top of this thing. And of course, you know, when the concrete sets up, you take your form off. You've got something basically like this. Of course, this is just the corner, obviously. These walls, you know, uh, however you decide you know, to make them, you, you just extend them out uh, in, in whatever direction, you know, and so on. The same with the footing. Uh, you just, you know, bring it out to the edges. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you an idea of how, what that might look like. Obviously, your pan is going to extend all the way out, you know, and your rebar is going to extend out. And if you're curious what that looks like, that turned down slab, I can do a little section here and just kind of pull it through there. Let's go down here where we can see. But you can see... When you cut through it, what it looks like on the edges. Let's turn our form back on. We'll cut through that. 
And here we go. We're going to cut through the whole thing to give you an idea of what it looks like. Okay, well, I hope that helps, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, email me at uh, Tony at artisantony.com. And I appreciate you guys watching. Mm -hmm.